Dr. Kausen and his wife are in the country at the invite of Minister Maika. As minister responsible for the development of many major projects and investments in the country, he does not want to see money leading people into living unhealthy lifestyles. I believe that our people must now seriously think about investing their money and their time in their health, because without their health, they can have no wealth. Minister Maika is also concerned that a lot of resources and attention has been diverted to other health programs, while many people die silently from diabetes. Dr. Kausen has traveled the world talking about diabetes. He says the only way to prevent this disease is to go back to the natural ways. When we go back to the natural ways, and so when we cut out white flour, white sugar, junk food, you know, all the different soft drinks, we can prevent this. And that's the exciting thing. Former member for Anglim South Wagi, Jamie Maxton Graham, thanked Minister Micah for recognizing the importance of living healthy lifestyles and asked the government to take measures to build a healthy population. We're already taxing tobacco because it's unhealthy. We're already taxing alcohol because it's unhealthy to our health. Why can't we tax unhealthy food? All junk food should have some tax. Small sin tax and revenue from that tax could subsidize all the healthy food. Dr. Carlsons will be here till Sunday and is scheduled to give a public lecture at the Sajon Guys Stadium this Friday. The minister is also hosting a dinner tonight at the state function room for all the heads of state-owned entities and government ministers to listen to Dr. Carlsons. Ruth Rungola, National MTV News.